and finally we have a little chapel there in our premises there we had a thanksgiving service and prayers so all that we have finished now in the last few days mm -hmm. now i understand that you ladies are part of this committee this amazing committee that goes out uh, that uh, talks about the work of preeti pura and uh, in some sense you become the faces <laughs> of this place um uh, so uh, on a personal level each of you have had different uh, reasons to be involved in the home uh, and uh, different uh, you know you i'm sure you got into it not assuming that you're going to be spending so many years uh, being a part of it uh, miss perera let's talk about your experience also well it was a uh, friend of mine mrs dilaisha gunawardna who has the special uh, school chitralain school for the special child she motivated me at a time when i was you know just not uh, doing so well because my husband fell ill when my son was one year old it was a difficult time for me but she thought that i should start doing something without turning inwards to turn outwards and i'm so grateful to her she's a very fine lady who has done a lot for the special child and that's how it started so after that i just became the treasurer she said give you that and for over 20 years i was treasurer then one day i said now 20 years is too long for one person to be treasurer that's not so good so after that i i got other people but i think a lot has to do with trust that people trust us to use the money wisely and mm -hmm. carefully and i think we have that face yes. in public mm -hmm. that we are uh, worthy of their trust in making their donations to us All right. Well, thank you very, very much for being on our show. Uh, we have uh, Mrs. Indra and Silva and Mrs. Shantini Perera. We'd like to say thank you so much. And uh, of course, I think uh, although it would be my sincere wish that you wouldn't need to continue to work in this because hopefully this issue will not exist. It's not realistic to be able to say that. So we hope you'll continue with your good work, uh, and that the Preeti Pura Home really gets all the uh, the donations and helps that the help that it deserves. And of course, for all of you out there, we've already. mentioned uh, there are many ways that you can be a part of it you can uh, in terms of finances in terms of time we hope you find the heart on a day like today <laughs> to uh, pick up the phone or to uh, take a bus uh, drive a car maybe go to the home visit it see for yourself what uh, they are talking about and maybe you'll find a reason to get involved and maybe 30 years from now <laughs> you'll be talking about how you got involved as well thank you very much thank, thank, you, thank you, you very much yes. thank you so very much yes. and right now we need to take a very quick break when we come back we We have lots more on the other side of. Welcome back to Good Morning Sri Lanka. In case you just tuned in, I managed to kick Rai out of the studio. Well, not really. I kind of asked her politely, "Hey, I'd like this next guest to be just for me, because I'm a huge fan." And our next guest is part of the Delanero brothers. And I don't think any introduction that I would give would be good enough. <laughs> Please welcome Rohan Delanero. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning everyone. Welcome good back to Good Morning Sri Lanka. Thank you very much Jason. It's so wonderful to be here. 27th. Ooh, good morning. Oh, of course. I love it. <laughs> And it's such a great way for me to kick start my morning with you. All right. Thank you. So, I understand. I had to get you on the show because yeah. we understand your annual show that you have like every year. Yeah. March 3rd. 3rd okay. March. It's the 3rd of March. Live Five, live five. It's in everyone's mind. They know third of March. Come what may, every year there is a show happening. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So l l let's let's go back a bit. Now, yeah. live five uh, is named after um, obviously the number of shows that you've had for five years now. Absolutely. And this has been happening since back in two thousand and two thousand and nine, nine was our first show. Right. And so you're naming this concert after how many shows you've done? Live five. I'm guessing. Fifth one is yeah. Fifth one is coming up. So right. So tell me a bit about like uh, Live Five, the Lateral Brothers. Everyone knows who you are. What are they going to expect from this concert? See, Jason, um, we do three concerts mm -hmm. a year. Yeah, and we've segmented the concerts into three different genres of music. Right. Um, the one that we have, the third of March, which is our anniversary show, we started as a as a pop concert. Mm -hmm. You know. 
and we do the, the songs of the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, right. singing it in harmony, okay. you know. Um, that's, that's the different twist that we give to the people. Mm -hmm. it's, it's covers, uh, the covers that we are singing, but mm -hmm. it's not solo. Right. We're singing it in harmony, so there's something different, you know. So, predominantly, that's the genre of music that you're going to hear on the 3rd of March. Okay. But then we have two other shows, mm -hmm. one which is a mid-year show, okay. which brings out the classical and Broadway side of things, right. you know, because that's also music that we have been singing. Right. Of so we don't want to forget that. And there's a lot of people who say they like that kind of music. Yeah. Some people want the pop music. Yeah. So, so, you know, we are catering to, to different segments of the market. Right. And then, of course, we end it with our Christmas concert. Right. Uh, now, now uh, you mentioned that eighty percent of your concerts uh, would, uh, are hosted at the, uh, the by the Water's Edge. Um, th is this concert going to be there as well? Absolutely. Live five. Live five. And the difference is that this time, it's going to be a five course menu. <laughs> um, <laughs> sit down. Because sit down five course. Uh, previously, it has been a three course menu. Right. And uh, we're going on a theme of five this okay. year. Of course, so, for the theme of five. So, five courses is what you're going to get. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so now you and Ashan have been doing this for a long time. A while now. Right. Um, but I asked you, when I asked you uh, before, when we were in the makeup room, I kind of asked you, hey, how long has it been since, uh, before your first concert, how long have you guys been trying to do this? You said not long. How long exactly, Rahan, is the question? It's, it's, it's very difficult to say, Jason, because uh, I, I had a solo career before the time. It's not that I don't have, it's still, I, I still do a mm -hmm. lot of solo stuff. Um, and uh, always, it so happened that Ishan was my guest star yeah. at, at the shows that I did. Yeah. So, if I'm to look at some numbers, maybe we did some things together maybe two three years before mm -hmm. but you know it was always just one or two songs yeah it was not legit it was not the delano brother no 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> that, that 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 was that was never in the equation at that time no, <laughs> not at all so what, what, what kind of persuaded you when you when uh, you kind of thought hey my brother sings as well as i do why don't we two collaborate when did this kick in into your mind actually it was his idea ah I have absolutely the plot thickens. <laughs> I, <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. Um, it was always he was always pestering me, which he always does. That he still continues to do it. Um, <laughs> um, he was always pestering me, saying, "Why don't we sing together? Why don't we sing together?" And uh, I, kind of being the elder brother, I suppose I never sort of gave it a hearing. Yeah. <laughs> until in two thousand and eight, um, the latter part of two thousand eight, I think mm -hmm. when the Platters, the world famous Platters were here in Sri Lanka. Right, okay. um, we were given an opportunity to s do an opening act for them. Right. You know, and and the organizers asked us, okay, what what do we call you? <laughs> you know, and uh, we said, no, just say Rohan and Shandi and that's right. it. You know, I mean, we never came up with a name at yeah. that time. You didn't panic though. You were like, oh God, what are we going to do no, now? Do no, we, what no, do we no, call no. ourselves? Uh, thankfully, I'm not the panic person. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, so we went as Rohan and Ishan Dilan role, and mm -hmm. then um, it just so happened that um, you know we 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 had uh, Leo Burnett uh, come up and you know say, listen, you guys are very good, yeah. and we need to brand you all and that kind of thing, and you know uh, that's just where we kicked, are. Kicked yeah. off from it's there. It's just kicked off. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. All right, now uh, does anyone ever? Now you two are really famous. Are we? I don't know. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm going to say that right now. <laughs> Everyone's so modest when yeah. they're famous. They're like, oh, are we really? Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you are. Let's face the okay. facts. Uh, but do, do people ever like confuse uh, you two? Because you're known as the Delano brothers. So they'll be like, oh, hey, Ishan, how's it going? And you'll be like, I'm Rohan, by the way. Um, <laughs> up to now, I would say no. Up to now. Up to now. Um, it's simply because uh, I, I keep advertising ourselves saying Ishan is the slim tall one with <laughs> the hair and Rohan is the short stout guy without the hair right so I think that 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 defines that, the two big of us variation there I think is but of course you have fans mm -hmm. who come up and sort of uh, because most of the time we are not in our sort of outfits of you know that people see us mm -hmm. in other shows and sometimes they say oh, 
are you one of the <laughs> Delano <Dylan Arbor> brothers? <laughs> uh, very recently, you know, I, and uh, it just then <laughs> it just go, oh my gosh! <laughs> well, well, l- l- <laughs> paint the paint the scene for me. Was this? I'm picturing for me every time when someone tells me a story, I picture them in a shopping, and they're shopping, pushing their cart. I'm guessing that was your scenario. Uh, uh, it has been while shopping. It's it has happened at the movie <laughs> theater. It's happened in school, <laughs> my son's school. <laughs> so it, it happens, you know. Wait, a mean? movie theater? How does that work? Like in the darkness, we're like, hey, After coming you're out. down in front. I think I know who you are. After coming out, you know, <laughs> in the light. Right, the right, light. right. That's interesting. All right, so Live 5 is happening on the 3rd of March. Yeah. And obviously, everyone is really excited for it. But it's sold out. It's gone. It's gone. And, um, you know, Ishan and I, we, we just overwhelmed of the fact of uh, um, the people's support mm-hmm. because um, I mean it's it's something good to have yeah I always say this and we don't know for how long right you know we cannot predict the future mm-hmm. um, it's been good it's been five great years it's been a lot of I mean there have been a lot of ups and downs but uh, on the whole um, ev- each show has been successful right. for us and when you see and when you have people coming and sort of flocking to get tickets and mm-hmm. sort of a concert sells out within an hour and, and 10 minutes or sure. so, um, I think that says a lot about where the Dylan Rowe Brothers brand is today yeah. With, yeah. The, with our fans out there. Most you definitely, know? yeah. Um, but Jason, as I said, you don't know for how long this is going to be. Um, so every time we, we challenge ourselves to be better, mm-hmm. do something different. Right. Um, and it's difficult to to maintain something. And sure. also, I think I think in one way or the other, I'm I'm glad to say that a- as of now, it's only Ishan and I who are doing a show of this nature. Right. Sort of a dinner theater show of sure. five cores or a three cores. Mm-hmm. You know, where we are the own artists. We have no band behind us. Uh, we're just working on backing tracks, and yeah. you. It's just two guys on stage trying to hold an audience of 500 over people true you know which is which is not easy you mm-hmm. know um, sometimes when you keep looking at uh, two people on stage you kind of get a bit bored yeah. you know um, but um, I suppose there's something good that we are doing mm-hmm. and uh, for that I must thank our fans for for being there and supporting us yeah. and and obviously like the fans are watching right now because who doesn't watch my morning show yeah. <laughs> right oh absolutely um, <laughs> Unfortunately not. <laughs> but all right. Yeah. So has have you ever had this? Uh, um, because obviously you've been performing for a while now. Ever seen the same face right in front of the crowd? Like, do you have this hardcore fan that's like, oh, absolutely, Ron, Ishan, I know you. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you have the the. I don't use the word older because I always use the word mature. For mature, of course. <laughs> yeah.